What's up weirdos? I'm Felicia and I like scary movies and today we are finally starting our Buffy series. I'm so excited. Today's video is going to be a bit of an introduction to my series. So we're going to be talking about the Buffy verse in general, what makes the show so special. We're going to talk about some fun facts and I'm going to have some special resources for my super nerds. For some videos you have to look forward to, we're going to rank the seasons, the big bads. I'm going to tell you my favorite monsters of the week, most emotional episodes, Spike versus Angel. It's all coming. If you have any recommendations for Buffy videos you want, put them in the comments. Now let's get into it. So as you may know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is based on the 1992 film of the same name. Joss Whedon also created that one, but he felt he had a lot less freedom on the movie version and he got a lot more freedom in 1997 when he started Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the TV series. Joss Whedon made Buffy under his production company, Mutant Enemy Productions. It ran for seven glorious seasons from 1997 to 2003. The Buffyverse overall consists, of course, of the series of Angel, the spinoff, the comic books, some novels, video games, all the merchandise, and a lot of academic papers. So why are people, aka me, so obsessed with Buffy? First of all, concept. We had this tiny blonde teenager who we're used to seeing being chased and killed in most horror movies, and she is the chosen one. She has been gifted with the power to be the one and only Slayer. The one and only thing changes throughout the seasons, but you know what I mean. She fights demons, vampires, monsters, and more while still being an incredibly complicated young woman and we get to watch her grow up through the seasons. She starts at 16 and she gets into her early 20s and we see a full journey of that and it is so powerful. I watched this show for the first time, I want to say like my freshman or sophomore year of high school and this was before streaming was as easy as it is now so I just had to find weird downloads of uh, random sites on the internet so I could complete watching the series because I didn't really watch it while I was on TV. And then of course I found all of the box sets. I also, I should say this, I did a Buffy collection video before I started this series. So I will link that in the description of this one and it will be included on the Buffy playlist that I'm sure I will create as these videos come out. But I show you my box sets in that. And so as I watched this show growing up as a teenager, it gave me a lot of sense of strength and power that I held as a woman. And I just always loved all things spooky. So it was really for me. And I think Buffy also really influenced who I am today. Something I love about our hero is that, yes, she is a fighter. She is the hero of the story. She is fighting tooth and nail every single episode with all kinds of power and weapons. But she's also pretty girly and silly. She likes shoes and wants to be prom queen. And I feel like that is a lot of like who I am where I kind of, it's girly gore. I mean, it's literally what my channel is called. It's like the two sides of me. I'm cute and I like lipstick. And then I also love blood and guts. It's like, it's just, it's who I am. And I think a lot of it came from Buffy. Next is that even though we always have these supernatural things going on, at the end of the day, it's a character driven show. Joss Whedon is famous for making characters that you love so deeply and then killing them off. But we truly have some incredible characters with insane character arcs on this show. The Scooby gang, of course, consists of Buffy, her high school friends, Willow and Xander, Giles, her watcher, and then other characters come into that, such as Anya and Dawn and Tara. But we have this group of friends who are ultimately more powerful altogether, fighting the evil of the world versus what is meant to be having a chosen single slayer working alone. Something else that's really cool about the show that I think was probably even more effective when people were watching it weekly on TV is that yes, you have a monster of the week. Every episode, the gang is fighting a different demon or vampire, whatever it may be. But then we also have this very complicated and intense long form narrative going on with all the characters in Sunnydale. This creates the ability to have awesome standalone episodes. And there are some epic standalone episodes that are super famous, such as Hush that has almost 30 minutes of no dialogue, Once More with Feeling, which is a full musical episode. Like they definitely work in, as standalone episodes, but there is overall a big bad that they're fighting throughout the entire season. And then of course the emotional journeys of all the characters that rise and fall and rise a lot. Something else this show has is of course the Buffy speak. 
It kind of reminds me of what people say about Gilmore Girls where it just has a very specific pace and type of language that the show became famous for. It's like this quick paced valley girl dialogue that is like very silly that contrasts really well with like the serious spooky scaries that are going on. It's kind of like the Elvira thing as well. Like obviously very different characters, but having the valley girl attitude with the darkness attached to it is, is very cool. And I think nice because it shows that women are freaking complicated. They're complicated beings. And Buffy's complicated. Now here are a couple of resources. First of all, where are you going to watch it? If you want to watch Buffy along with me, I'm re-watching it right now as I'm making these videos. You can watch it on Hulu or Amazon Prime and probably other places. I'm also going to recommend a Spotify playlist called Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Welcome to the Bronze. If you know the show, the, you know, nightclub, I guess, that all the teenagers and young people go to in Sunnydale is called the Bronze. And one of my favorite things about the series is every week they had a different cool indie band playing on the show. So this playlist was created by Jesha Stuckinus, I think. And I will link it down below in the description as all these links will be. But if you just want to groove to a bunch of bands that played at the bronze, this playlist is for you. It is awesome. Next, I haven't really talked about the fashion of the show and I don't know how much I will, but it definitely influenced how I dress. But there was a great Instagram account that I think is the most active one I could find called Buffy the Outfit Slayer. I will link that of course down below as well. I don't know who runs it, but almost every day they post a different Buffy outfit or outfit from a different character on the show. It is so great. And the last thing I'll tag below for you is the Buffyverse wiki. They have everything on there from all the character breakdowns to every monster that has appeared on the show, a breakdown of all the big bads, anything you could possibly want is on this Buffy wiki. And now a couple of fun facts or, or really what could have been and what will be. So we actually almost had a couple of more series spinoffs that didn't get the green light. One I'm so sad we didn't get and that is Ripper. It was gonna take place in London and be about Giles when he was nicknamed Ripper in his hot young British dude demon summoning days. <laughs> and I really want that. I would really want to see that. And the other thing we didn't get is an animated series that Joss Whedon really, really wanted to make happen, but unfortunately it never found the right home. And then what may be coming? So in 2018, you probably saw that they announced a Buffy reboot. We don't have a ton of information about it yet. Of course, Joss Whedon is an executive producer. We do know it's gonna stay with the mythos of the show and stay in the Buffyverse. And the only other thing we know is that it might potentially have a black actress playing the new Slayer, which I think would be really awesome. And I think that's it for this first video. I'm so excited for this series, guys. I don't know how long it's going to last. I'm assuming around three weeks. It's going to be a bunch of videos. If you have requests, get them in early so I can make them. But thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you're as excited as I am to talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer way too much, way too in-depth. I'm ready. Have an ice cream. Bye.